hover is a pseudo class and can be used to style state. The hover state is active when a user's mouse enters the bounding box of an element and is inactive when the user's mouse leaves it. In this episode, we'll look at the hover pseudo class on text links and cover some of the other link pseudo classes as well. We'll also look at some of the downsides of using hover and some workarounds for non mouse users. Finally, we'll create a CSS drop down menu triggered by hover and enhanced with jQuery for touch devices. Probably the most common use of hover is to provide visual feedback to users when mousing over links and buttons. The hover state of a link can be styled in CSS as follows. The colon next to the A signifies a pseudo class. We'll look at a number of them in this video and throughout the rest of the series. And you can check out the enabled and disabled pseudo classes in episode five. In this example, just the color is being styled, but any properties can be changed, overwritten or canceled out. You could increase the font size and rotate the link by 180 degrees if you wanted to, but don't do that. There are other pseudo classes that are useful for styling different link states too. There's a visited for styling links that are in the user's browser history. There's also a active for styling links that are currently being clicked on. Finally, there's a focus for a link that's currently got keyboard focus, i.e. the user has used the tab key to jump through the clickable items on a page like links and form inputs. I like to group this set of four link states together as part of a reset style sheet that will set sensible defaults for an entire project. Hover states can be applied to any element, not just links, which makes them very versatile. But on touch devices, there's no mouse to initiate the hover. Hover styles sometimes get applied if a user taps very lightly on a link or button, but this isn't reliable and isn't consistent across platforms and devices. It can often be very confusing, and our job is to improve user experience, not make it worse. In the case of touch devices, avoid key information being hidden behind hover interactions. If this can't be done, it is possible to swap out the hovers for clicks using JavaScript. Some users aren't able to use a mouse, and we can improve the experience for them by always applying focus and active styles when we use hover. We can comma separate these in our CSS as follows. If you use a CSS preprocessor like SAS, you could create a mixin that would output these three comma separated pseudos for you without having to write them out all the time. Now your state-based styles will show during keyboard interactions on elements that can be focused or made active. We've seen a basic use of hover to give some visual feedback when interacting with links or buttons. Another common design pattern on the web is drop-down menus in a site's main navigation. We can use the hover interaction to show and hide a submenu by using more complex CSS selectors. In this example, I have a horizontal unordered list of links. A couple of them have a submenu positioned beneath them. The submenus are another unordered list, but with the list items stacked on top of each other. This CSS sets up the initial layout. The color and font properties have been moved into my page styles.css to keep the working area clean. The trick here is to toggle the display property of the submenus when hovering over the top level menu items. As hover is a CSS selector, it can be combined with other selectors in a chain to create more complex behavior. For more info on the display property, check out episode four. The submenus can be hidden with display none and then set to display block when a menu item is being hovered over. If you prefer less of a sudden snapping on or off of the submenus, you could combine opacity with transition for more of a fade in, fade out effect. I'll leave that as an exercise for you to play around with. Make a code pen and shoot me a tweet. I'd love to check out what you come up with. To make this drop down menu play nice on touch devices, we can add in a bit of JavaScript. This jQuery snippet will activate the drop down menus 
on clicking instead of on hover. Clicking a second time will allow any link in the top level menu to be navigated to, unless it's an empty link. A working example of this menu, including the jQuery for touch devices, can be found on CodePen at the following link.